Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and first of all wishing you all a very happy Diwali. It's a Diwali day and today I come up with the second day's Ignite announcement. So on the second day of Ignite, so many cool things has been announced as well as we will be talking about what's new in the Power Apps. So let's get started and talk more about that thing in depth. Also, one more important thing, if you wanted to follow the entire Ignite summary for other office products like Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Power BI, SharePoint, Microsoft List and Microsoft Viva, check out the playlist in the description box. I will roll out some new videos in the next week. Also, one more important announcement, if you haven't followed me on Twitter and Instagram, do follow me on my Twitter and Instagram to never miss any updates from my channel. So without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about day two Ignite announcement for Power Apps. The first feature which is available at this moment is Microsoft search integration with Dataverse. Now we can search Dataverse data as a part of Microsoft 365 search result. In order to enable this particular thing, you need to enable Dataverse environment for Microsoft search integration. Second important feature which is available here is embedding the insights via Power BI. Yes. Now Power BI can be embedded into Power Apps as a system dashboard. We will talk more about that thing in detail in some upcoming videos. Third important announcement or feature is teams can collaborate in an app. Now what do we mean by that? Let's see. Suppose you have some Dataverse record and at this moment who are working on the Dataverse data, you can see that cooperation feature on Dataverse record. This is something which will be available in November 21 and second important thing that has been planned for spring 22 is something like it will provide you an option for team chat. So whoever user who are active, they can start a team chat directly from the app context without leaving the app. Fourth important announcement is we can work seamlessly with our data in Microsoft Teams. When we paste the link into Teams, it will unfurl into useful summaries like this. Here, user gets a useful rich summary data directly into Teams by just pasting the link from the app. This feature is something which is being planned into upcoming month. So let's wait for it. The fifth important announcement is around adaptive card feature in Power Apps. We can create the adaptive card in the Power Apps itself and after that we can publish into Teams as well. This feature in the Power Automate is already available but let's wait for the public preview of this feature in Power Apps in early 2022. So this is one of the cool feature which I'm seriously waiting for. The sixth important news around Power Apps is now with the AI builder you can bring your own AI model. Earlier in AI Builder, we have some sort of specific AI models available. Now you can build your AI model in any language or framework or tooling and you can host it on different cloud like Azure ML, AWS or any private cloud. And those AI models are registered with the AI Builder and available to be consumed with the other models. So this is something also which is a game changer and really excite me to use it. Seventh important announcement is around extending the collaboration to the pro developers. This feature is available as an experimental feature for Git source code integration. As a developer, now you can enable the Git integration for the apps to provide the source code integration version history and branching with the multiple developers. This is something I haven't checked so far, but I will provide you the latest information about this feature very soon in upcoming video. The eighth important announcement is around conditional access policies on individual apps. Now, as an admin, you can have the full power of conditional access on the individual app. You can block the individual users from accessing the app. 
requiring user to use the MFA when they're accessing the app and require an app to be only accessed at the trusted location. This is all something you can do it for individual Canvas apps. Ninth important feature here is now as an admin, you can quarantine an app that is not blocked by your organizational DLP policies and not meeting your organizational compliance requirement. This is a really cool feature. When your app is in quarantine mode, end user cannot able to access the app. But maker can still able to update the quarantine app into App Studio. So this is something cool and I will prepare a separate video on that very soon. The 10th important announcement is around general availability of Power Apps Portal support for Microsoft Power Platform CLI. Power Platform CLI with the version 1.9.8 was introduced in May 2021 as a public preview. Now, this is generally available of Power Apps Portal support. The 11th important announcement that has been done yesterday is about Power Apps Portal. Now, we can query data using Power Apps Portal using Web API. Web API operations in the past were so limited of creating, updating, deleting and associating and disassociating table. With this public preview, Microsoft has announced so many cool features with this new Portal Web API support. Here, there is a full blog about preview capability that has been available at this moment. The link is available in the description box and the detailed video will coming soon in upcoming week. The 12th important announcement is also around Power Apps Portal. Now we can use code component on the pages. So this is something which has been added as a blog post by Microsoft. Now we can use the liquid template tag for the code component and code component with the web API support. I will provide a detailed video very soon on this concept very soon on my channel. So these are the second day learning for Microsoft Ignite day 2. Hope you love all of these updates and share with me which one is your favorite one. Stay tuned with me to my upcoming video session on different announcement on Power Automate, Power BI and Power Virtual Agents. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. This is my another YouTube channel called Digital Thruvin. Subscribe that channel for the short content on Power Platform. If you are looking for consultancy, here is a website link and don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and podcast platform. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye, happy Diwali and wishing you a very happy new year tomorrow.